News 19 is your local election headquarters. A lawsuit that began in 2021 arguing Alabama's congressional map violated the Voting Rights Act today ends in a federal court selecting a new U.S. House map for the 2024 election. So the map selected by a three-judge panel chiefly moves district lines in South Alabama. The map meets the court's requirement of including a second congressional district with a near majority black voting age population. News 19's chief investigative reporter Brian Lawson, who has been covering this story for more than a year now, right. joins us in the studio. Brian, this is a major decision. It really is. The state of Alabama has fought the court's efforts on this. The state has opposed the court's order to create a second district that would give black voters the opportunity, and that's the key term the court focused on, opportunity, to elect a congressional member of their choice. It's been pointed out this map may lead to Alabama having two black members of Congress at the same time for the first time ever. Now, the court chose map three, which the plaintiffs in the case said they also supported. The state had opposed the map, arguing it would make it difficult for mobile area election officials to reassign voters in time for the March primary. The special master overseeing MAP's creation said this map kept the largest populations of both Birmingham and Mobile in one district. Now, some more details about the new district, too. The black voting age population is 48.7%. The district drawn by the Alabama legislature in its July 2023 map had a 40% black voting age population. The special master's analysis, looking at 17 prior election contests, found if they'd been held in this district, the black voter preferred candidate won 16 of 17 races by an average margin of 10%. Now, Secretary of State Wes Allen offered this reaction to today's ruling, saying, quote, it is important for all Alabamians to know that the legal portion of this process has not yet been completed. A full hearing on the redistricting issue will take place in the future, and I trust Attorney General Marshall to represent Alabama through that process. In the meantime, I will keep our state's election safe, secure, and transparent, because that, that is what I was elected to do. Alabama House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels of Huntsville expressed appreciation for the ruling today, saying, this is a tremendous win for Alabama voters, and as I and my colleagues have said all along, fair elections begin with fair maps. Although we can look at today as a landmark and historic victory, we must continue to safeguard and protect our right to vote. Today, the court sent a clear message, your vote is your voice, and your voice matters. Now, lawyers from both sides expect a battle over the, this map to resume next year, but this is set to be the map for the 2024 congressional elections in Alabama.